this episode of Solitude and Sailing, we told the sunfish, Kachupa, off to Greenwich Bay area and anchor out for a fun time out on the water. Good morning. So today, we're going to take the sunfish out for a sail. Forecast today, right now it's already mid 80s. It's supposed to hit low, low 90s today. Winds, they're 6 to 12 knots, it says. Here I'm about maybe 20 minutes from the water where I'm at and there's no wind here but usually there's more wind at the water so I'm not taking my day sailor taking sunfish kachupa I haven't taken her out in a little bit so let's make sure I got everything here that I need so as you can see she's packed for the travel I like to use my life jacket secure it on here so that the mast isn't banging around scratching up the boat here's my Marine flag to honor my son who is currently serving the US Marine Corps. Got the uh, extendable paddle. This paddle ex opens up. Um, I have a dry bag and a little case to put uh, wallet, keys, whatever else going needs to stay extremely dry in there. But sometimes this is a pretty good dry bag, but sometimes some of the dry bags fail. And in my sunfish bag here it's where i keep my extra stuff so i have my i have a line um to to, to pull the boat tow the boat it's my dock line got my sponge here to clean it. this is the little float that goes on top of the mast i don't usually use that during storage keep a noodle there in the hole in the mast hole that way that it'll um keep some of that extra water out so here is the new sail the only thing, it's in the bag. Yes, it is folded, so it'll be a little wrinkled when I pull it up, but it's brand new. I've never used it. So I do have the hardware to clip the sail on there. If you run out of hardware, this is called a mast, plastic mast hoop. And um, I bought some extras, got some extras from Challenge Hardware. So when I took out the old one, the old sail, I did um, crack a couple. So it's always good to have extras. We got the dagger board, we need that or the center board, or whatever you want to call it. Got my rudder, my tiller, tiller tamer. Yeah, so this extended handle really helps a lot. And that's about it, I got these gloves. I'm gonna cut the tips off the fingers because I like to feel the uh, line in my hand. This bag here is a long bag. It's what the entire um, mast and uh, the boom's gonna go inside. So, to save time, I wasn't gonna put it in the bag now. Um, I'll put it in the bag for the travel home. It does protect the sails. So we got all the supplies we need. Um, it's time to head out. We'll get some, some time on the water, de-stress, reflect, and enjoy this beautiful day that we have, summer in September. Alright, Kachupa is in the water. I'm gonna go put away the truck, come back, set up my mast, my sails, and head out. Once I laid it out, now I can figure out where to connect it. So that's the top, that's the boom, and these blocks here need to be on the downward side. There's the aft, forward.
All right, the sale is on. I'm only missing, missing one, two grommets. That's fine. If it was more than that, I would cut up a little line and just tie it on. Um, I'll order some more grommets. For today, I think we're good. Wind's not bad today, so we're gonna head it off. If the wind was higher, then I would just go ahead, go get a line and, and tie that off. But I, I think I have enough support on there. We're gonna be good to go. Now let's raise this sail. The sail is up. Everything checks out. So now it's time to launch and head on out. When launching the sunfish, you want to start out by aiming into the wind and then be ready. In case there's a wind shift, be ready to just duck and tack. We're going to sail around this area for a little bit and then bring the sunfish to solitude to tow her to our next destination. So watch the previous episode if you want more, just straight some fish sailing. Check it out, we sailed the sunfish all the way to solitude. Got the sails down, I got it tied onto the swim platform. Nice time, we went past the boat, way down, and then uh, tacked up against the wind. So here we are, a nice spot. Time to get some rest and recharge before we sail upwind. I got that fender right in between. Keep this thing from getting banged up. Stern line's tied to the um, rudder, bow line, on the mast. I guess you can say you never know what you're gonna get with solitude and sailing. But whatever you are gonna get, it's gonna be a good time. So we are now towing the sunfish. Have you ever towed a sunfish? I think I got it tied down pretty good. My son's gonna meet me um, at the anchorage point. He's coming up from URI with a couple of his buddies. And we're gonna we're gonna pick them up on shore so they can go for a swim, paddleboard, sail the sunfish. It'll be a good time. That's what dads are for. Dads, spend time with your sons while you still can, while you still got health. Because you never know when that day is gonna come. So do it while it's the going is good. Alright, let's go. She made it no problem. We're anchored out, no issues towing. I didn't tie it on the handle because I didn't want the handle to pop off. So my one fear was that when I stopped the boat, she would come smashing into the back of the boat, but it didn't. Now, when I stepped down there, I grabbed on the line and pulled it, and that thing came pretty fast. That sunfish moves, so it, it did. Right on the, the, the nose of the bow, you can see a little chip on the paint it did it did um hit the back of the boat <laughs> when i pulled it in by hand so good thing i saved some of that paint a little little sand and buff that's that's all that it needs so here we are back of solitude and we're about to do some more sunfish sailing here we go all the floats are in i'm gonna tow the two paddle boards with my sunfish to shore to meet my son and his boys at the beach this is my son Giovanni walking over to me. We sail the sunfish back together to the boat. That was an interesting sail. Two men on the sunfish. Yeah, she still floated. Together would have been close to 400 pounds. My other son Carlos Armani rode the paddle boards back. He and his buddy.
being that it was a weekday, there was not many boats on the water here. Usually on a weekend or holiday, this place is packed out. People floating around and anchored out for the day, just having a good time. There's also people at the beach. You can hear the kids in the background when we get close enough. No, that sound was not the kids in the background, nor was that a human sound. Here's our home base at anchor. We are currently sailing, and there's Solitude. She's not so bad looking for a 1976 sportfish. The wind was up and down, generally five to seven knots, a few little gusts, but oftentimes it would just dip down. And then it would just looks like we're just galloping, like on a horse across the water. So today is a relaxing day and this video Hopefully it's a relaxing video for you. Some days the wind is just howling and the sunfish is like a fast car or a roller coaster. You're flying, you're, you're healing. Today, smooth sailing. Enjoy the sounds of the water. Enjoy the seagulls, sounds of the ocean. As you relax where you are, watching and thinking and living out this sailing dream. Probably wondering what, what's saying am I staring? <laughs> Look, mom, no hands. What a beautiful ending to a lovely day. Finally at night was my final sail back to the dock where I was able to pull the sunfish out, package her up to bring her home. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Solitude and Sailing. Catch us again on the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Safe sailing. Fair winds and following seas.